But well, I was at that one day and I realized <laughs> that I can't stay in no five-star hotel. I am, I am not a, equipped for them amenities because I was in there and I don't know if this is the reason why people turn gay, but I was in there and I had to go to the bathroom and it's in the toilet in my room. And then, and then <laughs> and I had to do number two. So I walked in, I seen the toilet seat. I said, oh, this is very nice. This looks like it's low bearing. It's like a strong seat here. So I went on, sit down, and start dropping it like it's hot, you know? And then looked over, it was remote. I said, oh, wow, you can watch TV while you're sitting there? But the remote said washer, right? So I had just, you know, press the on button. And next thing you know, <laughs> a warm, soothing stream of water flew up in my hole. <laughs> and it felt so good. <laughs> I couldn't take my finger off the button. <laughs> I was there for almost 30 minutes. <laughs> thinking that my life was just flashing before my eyes. Have I made wrong choices? <laughs> has, has this been part of my life all my time? How is it getting up right in my hole? <laughs> Man, I'm gonna have to pick out an outfit for the, for the pride parade. I was like... Oh my God. <laughs> and next you know, it had this other button that says <laughs> the, 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 uh, the, the sprinkler, right? Where you press this something and, and a sprinkler of water goes around hitting your balls and coming back, hitting your hole and your ball. So this damn toilet seat was turning me the fuck out. Next you know. Water started coming out of my mouth. I was drowning myself from the inside. Finally, I was able to get up. But it was too late. The toilet seat had broke me. I was just looking at it like, how long you been doing this? Are you gonna be here when I get back? I'm gonna miss you, I gotta go, but I'm coming right back. And I had to tell somebody, so I shared it with my brother. <laughs> my brother worked for me, and we on the road together, and I went, I said, dog, have you tried the toilet seat? It's amazing, dude, it changed me. It changed me to a point where I don't know what I am anymore. And that brother looked at me, bitch ass motherfucker. I know you had hoe in you, old punk ass motherfucker. It hurt my feelings, because I was sharing with him. I should have just kept my mouth shut. Next morning, we had to catch a flight. I'm downstairs wondering where the fuck he at. We almost missed our plane. I had to go up and knock on this door. I was like, yo, bro, what you doing? He said, I'll be out in a minute. <laughs> I looked, he was in that bitch. Water coming from under the sink. It was coming from under the door. This motherfucker in there twerking on this bitch. <laughs> it broke both of us. No, but, but, I, but I, I, I love my children. You know, I, 